All right. Well, good morning, new representatives, well, all representatives. This morning, we are going to uh, look at and demonstrate setting up a Facebook event. Um, this is something, especially if you're new to Avon, getting your social media out there is huge. And a lot of people, I know they say, well, I stuck it on Facebook and uh, I didn't get a lot of response, but you, you, it's a consistent effort. Just like you have to talk to people every day and share your Avon brochures, you want to post on Facebook every day and share your uh, information, share your special authors, see what's going on. So you want to kind of stay on top of that sort of thing so that your customers have access to shopping anytime they want to do. Now, if you have not already, uh, this is what our district, this is District 12, 79 and 18, 16. I also have a district page for 5411 and um, 5407. Uh, they're together. So these are important because if you look at this on the Facebook, I haven't put my calendar on 5411, I'm going to, um, but it's very informative to be on this Facebook because here's the thing, look at all the information, uh, this is fun, his upline brought him a shirt back, uh, but I put videos, that was the top selling meeting last night on selling fashion, uh, the meeting invitations are there, the information about So Very Sophia. Uh, being on our website and being on social media can be very big for your business. The other thing, if you look here, uh, if you haven't noticed it before, here in the top, there are, uh, you can go and see what events are coming up, like if I am having a meeting or different things like that. But here's my file share. And this is great. When you go in here to the file share, um, there's Christmas in July, there's the uh, payment label documents, there's all kinds of documents. And you can go and you can download these documents and print them out and use them. Um, there's all kinds of information here that I've ever put on there. So see, they're all here and you have access to them all the time. So that's something you want to go in and look for in the file share. The other thing are photos. Uh, a lot of times I will put photos. Um, see, there are, there's Annie the Owl, uh, the back to school when we had an opportunity meeting recognition. If you want to go back and find a photo, maybe you want to post this on your Facebook. You can click on my photo and save my photo to your device. Uh, so here are our photos. So you can kind of go back and see uh, different things if you, you want to find something that you miss. So host of information. Facebook is amazing. People use Facebook for everything. Another thing, and we have shown you this, when you're promoting your Facebook, I mean, stop and think about, okay, there's a few different things you can do. Uh, first of all, you, you can sort of like post to your friends and you can post that, you know, anytime you type in your e-store address, which is www.yourabon.com forward slash your name, that's a direct link to you on your Facebook. But if you have the social media center downloaded on your phone, or if you are in your avon.com at your social media, you can post directly with the, um, uh, pictures and, and different advertising and everything right then and there from your Facebook. So then the other thing to think about is, well, okay, I got my friends. Uh, maybe you don't want to bother your friends too much with Avon. Maybe you want to keep it a little bit separate because when you say post a couple times a day minimum, um, anytime you see something that's interest you or something you're doing or maybe even a piece of product you're wearing, put it on your Facebook. Now, a lot of people, you see how I created a group? Um, you can actually go in here and you can create a group if you want to keep your Avon separate from the mainstream of your own Facebook. So it might be uh, Carol's Facebook, uh, Carol's Avon store, you know, or whatever you want to call it, K Carol's beauty store. So then all your posting you do in your page, just like I do all my posting, I have my uh, district Facebook page here uh, that is separate when you go and you look at my um, Avon, my page. So I have different things here. This is my, my, uh, mainstream. And of course I have a professional Facebook and I have a personal Facebook account as well. So there's so many different ways you can kind of segregate, make this work for you and put it out there. 
So uh, one of the things that you're looking at when you're in here then too is we want to start thinking about setting up a party. That's what we wanted to talk about today, a grand opening. Let people know that you are out there on Facebook and, you know, think about, uh, I think Carol, you just told me you have like 50 friends. So when they posted your store, suddenly you have however many friends they have on their Facebook, right? Are seeing your link to your e-store. So this is the objective is to try to get that promoted and shared and out there. One of the ways we find doing that is to create an event. So you see here in the left menu, it says events. So we're going to click on that and uh, we're going to go in there and you see we've had different events on Facebook and you guys have had invitations to mine where I've done uh, training classes and different things. And what's nice about setting up an event, there are, it's twofold. First of all, you set it up, you go in and invite all of the people in your list. And you can, uh, you're able to, every time you go in there and post, like, like say you're going to do a grand opening Facebook party Monday. So mm -hmm. over the weekend, watch for any special authors or things that's coming up uh, in, in Avon. And you could like post like even that Christmas video or, and every time you post in that event, they'll get a notification that you have posted in the event if they've gone in and accepted it. Okay. So okay. to set up an event is very easy. Uh, I just, you saw, I clicked on events. You just hit create. And um, the thing you can do in there, once you're in there is the events name. So Carol, we're going to set up your, your party. How's that sound? Okay. So, um, we're going to put Carol's grand opening. Avon grand opening. Let's do that. How's that sound? Yeah. Okay, so the location, um, it's going to be in, um, let's see, online, mm -hmm. in Facebook. Uh, in your own home. Okay, just something fun, whatever you want to say. Um, okay, so mm -hmm. online in Facebook in your own home. So right away they're like, oh, I don't have to go anywhere. So that's kind of cool. So then you think of the date. Have you decided, Carol, when you think you'd like to do this? Um, let's go for, I guess, uh, what about, what's, what's it, today is Friday, right? Yes. Let's say Sunday. Sunday? Yeah. I think Sunday a good day. Um, it is, uh, you're talking Sunday the 14th. Now I yeah. won't be able to support you if you need me on the 14th. Are you okay to do it? I'll give you all the information. If you want me to support you, you'll need to do it, um, Monday or Wednesday. Okay. Well, let's do it Wednesday then. Cause you need, you, you're talking about like in the daytime or in the evening? It's up to you. Oh, okay. Um, uh, now Wednesday's a church night, so you might struggle with attendance. Oh, yeah. You know your people. When do you think your people would be around? <laughs> no, I don't really know my people. <laughs> what <are you> saying? <laughs> uh, yeah, see, Sunday's a church night, too. I didn't think about that because I go to church in the morning. Yeah. Um, what about Thursday? Would you, you, you doing anything Thursday? Let me look at my calendar. The 18th? Yeah. I can do that. Okay, so we're going to do it Thursday the 18th. Um, do you want it in the evening? Yes. Remember this. Most people are online after 8 o'clock in the evening. Okay. So, and again, like I said, this is something that they can just look at. They can stream into. You know, they're not having to sit there and, and do whatever. So, 7, 7.30, 8 o'clock. Uh, let's try 8 o'clock. Okay. So you're going to go in here, and first of all, we want PM, mm -hmm. and we want 8 o'clock, and that's central time. Okay. okay. So, um, so what, and when you think about a description, something they're going to read, um, let's see, um, welcome to my Avon store. Okay. Can't wait to share uh, our amazing 
deals. Shop in the convenience of your own home. Bring a friend. <laughs> invite a guest. Invite, oh, um, invite your friends as well. Oh, feel free to invite your friends. Let's just say that. How's that sound? Okay. Uh, or so please invite your friends. <laughs> How's that? That's fine. Because if you think about it, and, and what you want to do is, I know this is kind of different because you're like, wow, I'm, I'm on the computer, but it's the same strategy is if you were going to have a party in your home right you want to first of all get the guests there and we want to put some compelling things in there to get our guests involved so we're going to set this up it's your your uh, avon grand opening um you know we're telling them where it is the same thing if you were sending out an invitation so welcome to my avon store can't wait to uh share our amazing deal shop in the convenience of your own home please invite your friends so that's created an event so we click on that and here's your event. Okay. okay. So we also keep the event private. Um, so it's by invitation, but also we're going to have our guests are going to be able to invite their friends too. Okay. All right. So, and actually I should have been logged into your Facebook to do this so we can invite your friends, but we'll get that. Um, I'm going to edit this. Um, and no, cancel that. But we will go in and we'll put this in on your Facebook. So okay. because then what you do is when you go invite friends, when you click on this, all of your friends that are in your Facebook, you would just hit select all. Like if I go um, right here, I'll click here and mm -hmm. I will, um, no, wait a minute, right here, invite friends. So right here, I'm going to go through my friends list. Uh, and I can invite them by text or email. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to show all my friends. So you would just go through here and, and invite them all. Okay. You have to click on each or if you hit all, it'll invite them all. You don't have to yeah. hit each one individually. Okay. Yeah, you could do, yeah, you'll have a thing will pop up and, uh, it will be, you'll be able to invite them all. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the other thing you want to like put, um, you want to put a photo so let's finish setting this up you might want to upload a photo now I also have uh, in my pictures file I have a Facebook party file mm -hmm. uh, right here so um, uh, let's see if you see something um, that you want well that's not what I want obviously there's not much in there <laughs> the first one was pretty good yeah, Facebook party is what I want. There we go. Okay. Um, so, and you see I have games, <coughs> games that we can play and we can like mail out a mascara or something. It doesn't have to be a big thing, but just like if you had a party, you're going to play some games and mail some things out. Uh, mm -hmm. There's the purse game. What have you got in your purse? I have facts. I have product. I have tips and, and different things like that. Also, um, you know, they're looking at doing different, uh, refreshing their browser all the time. Um, so there's, see, you can see I have a lot of information here. Uh, here you go. It's an Avon virtual party. How's that one look? That's fine. I like that. Look at that. Okay. So it's a, it's a virtual party and this is what we're setting up. So um, then we can invite our guests, even if they're not on Facebook, by email or text which is what you have over here. So we're going to put this over in your uh, Facebook page so that you'll be able to go in and do your invitations and everything. Okay. So I will make you, um, I will make you a host. Uh, let me see, Carol, Carol, what's your last name? Simmons. S-I-M-M-O-N-S. Is that your name on Facebook? Is there a middle name in there? B is in boy. Okay, you're not popping up. You must be, well, we'll work on that, but um, we'll get that fixed in a minute. But that's a, It's going to be on my email thing, or? It'll be however you're listed in my group Facebook. Oh. Okay, 
but we'll worry about that in a minute. So this is set up, and then the next thing comes uh, for you to, once you get it set up, you would um, invite your groups. So you click here and see invite all my Facebook friends, or I can invite by text or email. So if I click invite all my Facebook friends, which is what you're going to do when we get it into yours, you mm -hmm. would just go here. See, here's all my friends on Facebook. And you would just um, click all friends. Um, and you would hit select them all. Oh, but it should be select all somewhere where I can select them. Oh, or I guess you do have to go down and just select them all real quick. Okay. And then you would send the invite. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, um, I'll show up on your screen just as Carol. Maybe you don't have a last name on mine. Let me see. Oh, do you? Okay, let's see what pops up. Nope. Now we'll work on that in a minute. Okay. So, so basically, once you do that, so you've invited your friends, and then you'll see here um, how many you invited, who's going, and you can also text and do other things if you've got some friends that aren't on your Facebook, like some new customers you've met since you started, different things like that. So the trick is to get them invited. But when you message them, you do want to message your guests and say, bring a guest uh, to go into a drawing for, a, for a, um, a gift. Because, you know, here's the thing. It's just like when you have a party in your home, you want to drive guests there. Okay, so mm -hmm. now you've got the event set up. We've invited people. Then you want to start doing some things uh, to entice people to come. So you might go in, uh, maybe I'll create a post, and um, I'll go in here and I'll say, okay, and usually it's pictures or it might be um, words or like maybe perhaps I'll say here, uh, um, welcome to Carol's. S-I-M-M-O-N. Hmm, we got to see how you are listed in my Facebook. Welcome to Carol Simmons brand opening. Looking forward to sharing and Carol's Avon store with you. Please feel free to invite your guests, to invite your friends. Okay? So when I post that, they'll be able to see that. So everything we start adding in here. So daily up until this, you want to go in and maybe post something. And it could be things like, okay, then I might say, um, um, you see, I have different things. Mm -hmm. uh, the coffee is ready. That might be an hour before your meeting or um, you just kind of put in here different things to entice them. You might put pictures of products like the Sophia. Oh, look who's our new partner with Avon introducing, um, you know, Sophia uh, Vigaro and she has an amazing break, you know, so you're just going to kind of put intrigue just like you were kind of like blogging some different products and different things as they're coming um, you all might even say host a party if you want to get people to host a party for you. Um, there are a lot of different things. In fact, here are the steps to do your Facebook party too. Uh, I'll send this out. Maybe I'll zip this and send this to you. I talk about brushes. So you just really kind of put some things in here. Uh, tell a friend because, you know, we want them to tell their friends and invite them. We'll welcome them. What's your favorite Avon product? There's also a who's in the house thing. So you'll see I'll do, a, there's a lot of different postings and different things that you can, uh, you can put. My assistant, Stephanie, has some amazing stuff. She's done this a lot and helped the representatives a lot with this. And I'll probably get her involved with this as well, uh, Carol, with us. So that's all there is to setting it up. So again, it's inviting them, putting some interest in there, and just kind of working through the process. And then on the night, uh, we just start explaining, okay, because people are going to be like, wow, this is interesting. But you know, it's just like being in a chat room. 
So then they're going to chat about, talk about fragrances. I'll say, what's your favorite fragrance or what's your favorite product? And then we can like pop up products in the offers. Oh, well, look, it's on sale or here's this. So what happens is when we're actually doing the party, we will want to be logged into your Avon.com e-store so that we can post some specials and stuff straight from your e-store plus whatever information and facts I have about fragrance. There's a lipstick game. There's the purse game. You know, we could play a couple games and just get people involved. I'll put a video on there about the opportunity. Watch this video. Um, who can tell me, like one of the videos I like to say, who can tell me how old Avon is because it says in the video, so they have to watch the video to find out, uh, which is 130 years. So uh, different things like that to get some involvement and as they are uh, asking questions or typing information and also on the game I play it says you know if you like something uh, it's a point and we get them to add up their own points we don't have to worry about keeping up with that we say okay what's your total point so mm -hmm. when you put a game out there like that about you know you get a point for liking and commenting and whatever it gets them more interactive and the more interactive it's it is the more questions they ask the more we can get the group involved so it really becomes just like you did a party anywhere else we're going to play a game we're going to uh demonstrate some products virtually uh as far as showing them in picture form and giving them some fact and information and things like that so and it goes very quickly it's just post 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 and then we're checking the comments you and I will open up a chat room so that we can, you know, stay on top of what's going on and just let your customers see what's what's happening. We also say, okay, go and register. When you register on your e-store to purchase, that becomes a point. Uh, when they make a purchase, that becomes more points. Uh, if they decide to join Avon, that's even more points, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, we just sort of like really push your business out there. So the people that you invite, uh, if we can get them there and get them to invite people, then you could have a lot of uh, information, a lot of things going on there. Okay. Does all that make sense to you? Yeah. Now, I do have one question. Like on my Avon store itself, you know how you have to put your customers in with their email and their phone number, whatever? Right. I can't get them to confirm the email. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I told them, oh, yeah, oh, okay, I'm going to do that, I'm going to do that. And it never have. I keep getting this notice from Avon that your people have not confirmed that they want to accept Avon emails. Okay. So, well, what they have they to do? confirm that so that your auto email will go out. So, right. and it's something we could talk about in the e store. We can put some, we can text in there, you know, and then confirm that you want to get emails from Avon and mm -hmm. uh, so that you can stay on top of the newest products and the latest brochures, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So as you can see in the guidelines, and I will email this out with this video, uh, it just takes you right through uh, steps, you know, about hosting your event. So you mm -hmm. want to post periodically beginning the day, especially to create some excitement and remind them. Because like I said, every time you post in there, if they've accepted the invitation, they'll get, they'll get a notification. Um, so you could put some images of prizes. Are we going to give away a mascara? Uh, you know, I'll see, you know, just some pictures. We could put some stuff out there that we're going to do. Um, and then there are some recruiting images. You want to put a little of that information. And then increase the post the day of the event. Uh, and there are some examples of some posts. There's some videos. In fact, the link to the YouTube video are right there. So um, you, can, you can copy and paste them from this flyer uh, off of your email. You know, you welcome everybody. I'll remind them that they have to um, refresh their browser frequently so mm -hmm. that they keep on top of the posts. And I'll ask questions and get some feedback. And there are a lot of videos that you can put in here. There's even some music, like we could start it off with some party music, like, hey, you know, uh, from YouTube. So we could do, you know, as you can see from all the different posts and everything, you could just do a little bit of fun and and it's really just to get people to come in and look at your e-store. That's the goal. Right. And to see the products. And if they have questions about products, we can answer them and we can post information about those products. Okay. So it's just like if we were doing it in your home. But guess what? We are doing it virtually. So they would just sign into their regular Facebook and it would be on, on like they're talking to me. Yeah. They Anybody would accept your home. event. Let me see if I, uh, they would accept your event and, um, 
because I've only been on one of these Facebook meetings with you all, uh -huh. and I saw where everybody was typing, but I thought it was like talking, and I didn't, you know, I thought I wasn't on it. <laughs> no, we are, um, we are, I'm trying to see if you're here on my, you know what it is, you're not friends on my, you're, you're in my group page, but you're not friends with me. So I need to befriend you. Mm -hmm. Let me see if I can go to the group. Hold on a minute. Uh, so, because you can go in if you do have other groups. Mm -hmm. uh, my groups. Here we go. Let me go in here. I'll find you in here, Carol. There we go. You're no. here. Um, I was about to say, if you send me a friend request, I'll friend you. <laughs> yeah. So, what I'll do is I'll go in here and find you, and uh, we'll get that worked on, and we'll get you as a friend request, because then I want to turn this to you so you can invite your people. Okay. Um in, into this. Yeah, I told you I wasn't that familiar with Facebook. And, you, and you know, I never really wanted to get on all these social medias because I really just don't have the time. Like these people be with their phones all day long. I know. I don't so much. But, you know, uh, is I know, I feel that. But here's the thing. This is where people are. If you're right. on their phone, guess where they are right now, right? So, right. It is. Well, that's the reason why I wanted to start getting it, you know, because I'm saying I got a lot of things, you know, I could be sharing with people and I didn't even know how. <laughs> uh-huh, exactly. So that's something, let me see, Carol. Oh. Is that, that's not you? Is that, no. that's not you. There's two Carol Simmons and neither of them are you. Okay, we'll work that out. But basically, that's all you have to do to get it started. And mm -hmm. then once the actual party goes on, it's just kind of putting some things in there. And I can send out, in fact, I think I have a zip drive of a lot of these picture posts because obviously we're posting in pictures. Uh, you will do some typing, but it's going to go very fast, so you don't want to do too much typing. And what's good about this handout uh, open this handout on your computer because you can copy and paste most of the stuff from the handout right into your event as it's happening. So, and then the next thing is to watch your posts and refresh your, uh, just keep refreshing it often as well. So <coughs> you can um, stay on top of what they're posting because you'll get notifications up here. So you'll have to go down here and keep looking at the notifications to make sure you don't miss a question. Okay. And then it's there, so they can always come back to it. They can um, ask questions, and you'll get a notification when they do, because you'll get notifications as they do things in there. So you'll be able to go back and follow up and, and answer any questions that come up and things like that. So it's pretty straightforward, very simple to do, and it's a lot of fun. So people have been, when I've done them, they've, they've been really surprised with it. We've had some pretty funny parties. Some of the comments, you, you go like, oh, no, she didn't. Yeah, but it's, it's a virtual party, and people are um, partying in their jammies and just seeing what you have in your Avon store, and that's the atmosphere we'll create. And uh, it's really all about getting them to look at you online and register on your e-store. That way they'll be accepting. Once they go in and register, they'll be accepting your, uh, your email too. Okay. All right. So, uh, that is basically how you do, uh, an e-store party. It's pretty straightforward. It's, uh, again, a lot of fun and it's a great way to get your internet out there and think about if you have Carol, you said you have like 50 friends. If they post this on their Facebook or they invite their friends on their Facebook, even if they just invite a couple, um, suddenly you've invited hundreds, right? Mm -hmm. And of course, you know, I'm not saying they're all going to show up, you know, you, but if you get anywhere from five to 25 people oh. there, just think about that. So again, it's, it, and then plus it's something that's going to be there. It's something that you'll be posting and it's going to really uh, make a big difference in your business online business. Sound good? Yes. All right. So any other questions about it? No, I think that's it. Okay. <laughs> no, but you, you'll be available. You say like 
to type stuff too and yeah I'll be available and I'll help you with the first one and I'll be posting information and things because I'm always happy to do the first one with you and then also once I do it you know how you double click on a picture and you save it to your uh, you know start a folder in your picture file that says uh, maybe Facebook posts or e store e parties or whatever you want to call it and then just click on those pictures and save it. So then if you decide you want to go do it again, or maybe a friend says, Oh, I'll host a party for you. Then you'll have all the postings there that I do. And you'll just be able to run through it and, and post things. There's no right way or wrong way. The thing is, is just to keep it moving, try to get some good information out there where they're asking you questions and they're involved in what's going on because that will pique their interest. Okay. And, you know, put a little incentive out there, the party games that we'll be doing so that they could win a little prize or, or different things like that. So that's always fun, too. But, oh. again, you know, just if you haven't done one, try it. Try it from this attachment or call me. I'm happy to, to help you with it. Okay. All right? I haven't done one. <laughs>